new at 6, some thieves couldn't wait for tomorrow's release. They grabbed a shipment of phones, steps from an Apple store. KPX 5's Susie Steimel is live at the Stonestown Mall in San Francisco where this theft happened. Susie? And Veronica, this is exactly where at the Stonestown Galleria that robbery took place. It was on the loading dock of this Macy's here. A UPS driver pulled up to deliver some packages to Macy's. He was inside for about 15 minutes. That's when thieves broke into his truck and took all of those iPhones. Police still haven't made any arrests. I observed three unidentified uh, suspects who were wearing hooded uh, sweatshirts, uh, exit a white Dodge van. Police want your help tracking down three suspects who took off from the Stonestown Galleria in a white van yesterday morning around 11 a.m. They made off with hundreds of stolen iPhone 10s that were supposed to be delivered to the Apple store here. It appears that the suspects knew what they were looking for. Police say at least 300 iPhone 10s were stolen from a UPS truck. At a minimum, the iPhone 10 retails for $1,000, so thieves made off with more than $300,000 in merchandise. Tomorrow is the much anticipated release of the iPhone 10, and Stonestown Galleria's Apple Store was stocking up. It's the phone that boasts facial recognition technology and an improved camera that can mimic professional quality photos. Police say they believe the suspects were tracking this truck. When the UPS driver went inside Macy's to make a delivery, they broke in and took all the smartphones inside. Uh, given the uh, dollar value and the incident itself and that it appears that it was planned. The upside, the iPhones come with IMEI serial numbers, so Apple can track them down if people report suspicious sales. Police say it's best to stay away from third-party sellers. If you're going to purchase stuff, I always recommend people to go to an actual store to purchase it. Our partners at KTSF 26 first broke this story and helped coordinate that police interview for us. They have told us the good news is that no one was injured and also Apple is cooperating with the investigation. We're live in San Francisco. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.